Hey y'all, it's Tasha, aka Mama Jim, aka Jim the Butterfly, and I am coming at you with your Libra Weekly Tarot Scope for November 22nd through the 30th in your December 2015. Y'all, y'all, you know what? I'm having too much fun. It is like almost 1 o'clock at night, and um, I'm up doing readings for y'all. This is pure love. Thank y'all so much for leaving um, just wonderful comments and just positivity and sending me so much love and encouragement and, and support um, on my page. Thank you for um, any new subscribers, all my current subscribers. Thank you for liking, share, subscribing. Um, thank you for those who follow me on Je on Instagram. I am Jim, G-E-M, the butterfly underscore tarot. Um, just love, I'm just in love with what I'm doing right now. Um, this video is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising. Don't know your rising sign, don't know your moon sign. Google search it. Uh, birth chart calculator. You do have to know your time of birth and your um, place of birth to get those things. This is a general reading. I think I said that before. Majority rules with Jim in the mama's house. And the majority rule for me to for me to uh, shuffle on camera. So for those who don't like me rambling, I do ramble a lot. I try to cut it down. Um, for those who are looking for personal readings from me, my site is now up. Yay! <laughs> um, <laughs> um, check me out, jimthebutterfly.wix.com forward slash for work slash. Tarot. You can go on there and book a reading with me. You can also pay for your for the services on the site. Um, I would love to read for you guys as it stands right now. Majority of my um, availability will be on Saturdays and Sundays. I'm trying to work it out so I can get um, do some have some availability on some Mondays and Fridays. And when I do, I will just post it on there. You know post a video like I'm available today y'all hit me up or whatever so y'all can get these readings in get some clarification or whatever issues that you need so we're just going to move on into this thing and find out what's going on for the Libras the balanced ones <laughs> hold on y'all I'm going to do four cards alright and that's going to take us on into December I just had a card to pop out and it popped out and this has been like I feel like there's a lot of illusions going on. Yeah, I had the moon card pop out just now and I'm gonna keep it just because it's been coming along with everybody else right now. Um ooh, Librans. Alright. Like I said with this moon card, there's some there's some things that you're just not seeing or that you there's some illusion. Things are not the way that they appear to be. Libras. Um and you starting off the week though, you starting off the week feeling pretty good. I'm gonna just be honest with you, you starting off the week feeling like the six of wands, and this is you feeling good about yourself, feeling good about what's going on in your life, you're being admired by other people. You may be receiving some type of accolades at your job is what I feel like. Some type of special recognition is what I feel like. And you're going to be really basking in this. This is feeling good. Um, you're moving into, um, after the Six of Wands, you have the High Priestess. And the High Priestess is kind of feeling, it's kind of like, uh, it's almost like to me that's your gut. Telling you, like, even though you're feeling this way, that something is not, adding up in your personal life like I see this is like this is you out in public okay this is how you are at work this is how you are in public this is around people that you you, you know but you don't really know um, but your innermost workings of you um, 
it's almost like a front. It's very weird what I feel with this card, um, with this reading. It's like you're 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 sashaying around very proudly and not in a not in an arrogant way, but you're feeling very confident. And this woman is confident too, but she doesn't she doesn't reveal her confidence. It's like she just rather lets her her confident shows. So I kind of see it as like th these are um, kind of extremes of each other. Um, maybe, maybe, maybe what I, this is maybe what I'm seeing here. Um, that's where this illusion is coming into play is that like you guys are not really seeing Hold on, hold on, y'all. Let me get this. Let me get this together. Yeah, it's like it's like you're not really seeing. It's, it's something that you're not seeing. I don't know. We need to keep going. Let me just keep going with this. I don't know what this is, but right beside it, you have the Seven of Swords. Okay, so I feel like all throughout this week, it's just some type of deception. There's some type of, there's something that's hidden. It's being hidden from y'all. Um, and I honestly, excuse me, I honestly feel like um, y'all got some haters. That's, you know, that's, I feel like that's what it is. And it may be somebody at your job. Okay, check this. Let me be able to put my finger on this person, okay? Like I said, you're starting off the week in a very good spot. You, you're getting accolades. Look at this person right here. I'm going to take my finger off of it, but I want y'all to look. Hold on. I want y'all to look. God, I wish you can see it. Um, I want you to look at this person. I don't know if y'all can really see it. Okay. Y'all see that guy right there in the corner? This dude. Him. How he's looking at you, like he's holding up the rods and he's helping to celebrate you, but he's kind of looking at you like, why this motherfucker get it? <laughs> that, and this could be like your homeboy, your homegirl at your job. There is a hater. That's what I feel like, y'all. It's a hater lurking at your job. It's a hater in your environment that you don't even know is a hater. This person does not like the fact that you get recognized for being you and your work ethic and just, you know, in your personality. They don't like it. They don't like it. And I feel like whoever this person is, you kind of have an idea. That's where this high priest is coming in. Like, you kind of have an idea. Like, this is the person that you probably talk to all the time at work. You probably talk to all the time. This is a work situation, y'all. This is not relationship or anything like that. Um, it could be a friendship. I will say that. But I don't really see this as a love thing. Um, but, yeah. And if it is a love thing, I hope it's not a love thing. Because as as a partner, your par no partner should ever feel jealous of the other partner. Okay? So we're not even going to entertain that. If it is, y'all let me know, but I hope not. But I really see this as a, a, a work situation. There is a hater amongst y'all Lee bros. Okay? This person, um, and maybe that's where the illusion comes from. Like, you feel like this person really is your friend, but you, or feel like y'all really do have some type of friendship. And even though you feel like that, Deep down inside, something's like, mm, I can't really trust that motherfucker. And you may be finding out they've been talking about your ass behind your back. I'm going to just be honest with you. And you know what? By the end of the month, going into December, you can be like, you know what? Fuck you. I don't need you to, to help celebrate me. I'm good for myself. I got all these other people who are happy for me. I don't need you to be happy for me. I got me. Okay? Not in a rude way. Just in a queen. Just like how y'all are. You know, this is general energy. It could be a man or a woman, but that, that's what I see. Like, you know what? Psh, off with your head. I don't give a fuck no more. You know what I'm saying? It's been revealed now. It's been revealed now. I feel like some information is going to come back to you. Like, I'm surprised she was up there helping you, you know, 
at, at the little program, the recognition program for you, as much shit she talk about you, it may be one of them type of things, y'all. I'm just letting y'all know. Okay? There is a hater amongst you. So, and you're going to be finding out about this person in this coming week, going into December. It may even, it may even be um, at the beginning of December, even though this, this reading is kind of lasting. I, I did this reading go towards to blah, 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 November 30th. It may just, you know, the November 30th is a part of that first week of December. It could very well transfer into that. Excuse me. You're going to be finding out who this person is. And it may surprise you a little bit, but when you really think about it, it ain't surprise you. That person be showing you all along that they ain't like all that success that you get. They feel like, they feel like, you know, they, it almost like they feel like you get favoritism. And it's not favoritism. You worked hard to get where you are. You, you, you're, this is a victory. You know what I'm saying? You worked hard. This wasn't, this wasn't something that was just handed to you. You know that y'all are not like that. But that's what this person is thinking that it is. That's how they feel about it. And it's going to be revealed to you who this person is. Trust and believe. And by the end of the month, you, like I said, you're going to be like, you know what? I thought we were cool. I see now that you were just fake. You were sitting there smiling in my goddamn face. You know what? I Don't talk to me unless it got to do with this referral. Unless it got to do with this, you know, with this patient. Unless it has to do with this, you know, this client. Don't come to my desk. Don't come to me. Want to tell me all your goddamn business. I don't give a damn about how you and your man got in an argument over the weekend. I don't give a fuck about you or him. Now, you may not say it like that, but that's what you're going to be saying in your mind as you tell them, you know what? We can't be friends no more. You know, I see who you truly are. I thought you were a friend. You're not a friend to me. That would, that's how you're going to be saying it. But in your mind, that's what y'all y'all going to say the other stuff. Like, you know what? Fuck you and all y'all crazy ass shit. Like, that's what you're going to be thinking in your head. But it's okay. It's okay. Because, you know what? You always need to know who's a part of your circle. All right? Who's down for you. And you know what? Two tears in a bucket. You got somebody coming along and they in your they perpetrating. You don't need that person in your circle. Who has time for that? You can't even be yourself. And this is going over a little bit, y'all. But you can't even be yourself because you can't even, you know, share a part of yourself and be vulnerable with people. Because you know the moment you tell them, they're going to be running off telling all your goddamn business. You do not need those people in your circle, okay? Mama Jen says so. Let them people go. It's gonna be it's gonna be revealed this week who they are. And like I said, you're not gonna be surprised. It's probably you probably been thinking about getting rid of this person anyway. You starting to see some stuff, and this is gonna give you the ammunition ammunition to do so. So that is your weekly. Don't hurt them too badly, but don't don't you know? Don't chop them down too bad. I you know you know how we store as people are, honey. When we finally got something to say to your ass, we going to say it and we don't give two fucks about how it come out sometimes. So, you know, you can say it in a way that they can get it and they understand. Don't come to me with no bullshit. I don't want to hear nothing personal about you. <laughs> Business only after this. Yeah. It's going to toughen you up a little bit too, you know. It is what it is. You know, some people come to work to make friends because they have no friends in their real life. And other people come to work to work. You know, and I feel like you guys come to work to socialize a little bit and you come to work to work. But now you're kind of just kind of realizing who you can work with and who you can kind of be on a friendly level with. You can't be friendly. With, you can't be just up and just be super friendly with everybody at the job. It just is what it is. And now you're learning where to put those people that you can't be all that friendly with and you just have to keep it business. Ain't no problem with that. You can do it. I know y'all got y'all can do it. So you just be adding another motherfucker to the list. Anyway, moving on. Moving on. All right, y'all. December 2015. Libra. This is gonna be kind of a long lit video, y'all. Sorry. So, drawing different cards, I'm doing something a little different. One card for general energy, one card for love and relationships, one card for um, health and spirituality, another one for um, career and finance and an advice card, okay?
being prompted to draw two cards for the general energy for y'all. Love. Health and spirituality, career, and advice. All right. All right. Overall energy right now, you have the Five of Cups and the Strength card. And this kind of goes back into, I like how the month is kind of tied into the weeklies. Um, goes into the, that revelation of who this person is, that snake in the grass, that person that's in your circle. Um, you're going to be suffering a loss, but you're going to be remaining strong about it. And, you know, whoever this person is, I think y'all had some really good times together just hanging out or whatever. You may even hang, may even had spent time outside of work. But, you know, like I said, something's going to be revealed and this person's not as true as what you thought they were. And it's going to, it's going to hurt. You know what I mean? I'm not saying that it's not going to hurt. It doesn't hurt any less just because you know. It's still going to hurt. Okay? And that's what it is. But, um, you're letting things go in your life and it, it's it's okay you know I don't really see y'all doing this out in the open but I feel like you will be home kind of upset about this thing like damn and it's, it's not even a thing I don't think it's almost like you're hurt because you chose you you realize you chose not to listen to your intuition because you had the high priestess there you knew that this person, you felt like this person was acting this way or being this way, but you continue to be their friend anyway, because that's just how you are. You know, people are going to have to tell you, people can't tell you how to, um, or who, who not to, who to be friends with or who not to be friends with. You have to see on your own. And I feel like deep down inside, you did see it, but you just weren't ready to recognize it. And it's telling you to remain strong. So you suffered a loss, but all is not lost, and you're gonna you're gonna still come out this thing fighting for December. It's go, it's like taking a small hit, you know what I mean? So, um, for your love and relationship, though, you have the Seven of Cups, and what I feel like is for those who are not in a relationship in are looking for love you're going to be having some love interest coming your way may not necessarily be up to seven people but I do feel like you're going to have some love interest coming your way um, and whatever this situation is going back to this work situation or this friend situation it may have you looking at friendships a little differently too you know, um, I feel like, um, yeah, you may be even looking at your current people, you know, especially if you're single, the current people in your life, you may, this, this relationship, this loss of this friendship, it may even make you look or second guess other relationships that you have in your life or second guess your ability to to pick people who are suitable to be in your life in your circle but you know uh, it may feel may feel you leave may leave you feeling excuse me a little clouded a little jaded but it's okay okay understand it's okay um now for the health and spirituality, you have the three of pentacles. And so what I feel like with the three of pentacles is saying is, um, I feel like a lot of y'all are going to actually be getting, for whatever reason, I feel like this is just a symbolization of a church. And y'all are going to be getting, y'all are going to be going back to, so a lot of y'all are going to be going back to church. If you had not been to church in a while, attending services. If it's not a church situation, y'all going to be going to do like group meditation, you know, that type of thing. You're going to be joining with other people to get yourself back right mentally or spiritually. You'll be joining something, even if it's some type of, um, some type of just spiritual or religious group, 
That's what I see. You're going to find some peace in that communing. Trying to find somebody of your own, um, of, of like, of like, of, of, what's the word I'm looking for? Of, um, like kindred spirits. That's what you're going to be focusing on right now. People that have common interests like you have. Um, because you need that. Y'all need that connection with people. And so, you know, again, you've suffered a loss with letting this person go. But you're going to jump right back in there. Excuse me. And just try to connect with some people who are more like-minded like yourself. Um, now, in career and finance, again, you have the five of wands. And I feel like this is just a lot of... Um, this is like an unsettling, an unnerving type energy that you're going to be having at, in your job location um, or maybe even feeling that way about finances but I really feel like this is just going to be you and other people at your job um, in this in this thing and it's, it's one of those situations where um, it's almost like going to work makes you feel frazzled because you have to see this person all the time you know, like you really don't want to be around this person, but you have to go to work and, you know, you don't have anything else right now coming in. Um, and I don't know if, I don't know if some of y'all looking for something to come in, but I don't really see anything new. I think this is just what is going on right now at your job, in your job situation. It's going to be a lot of just uneasiness, unsettledness. There's going to be like tension at your job right now. So just be prepared for that. And that's, again, why you have the strength part. Be, handle, be, be the grace under fire, sugar. After you say what you have to say, you have nothing, you know, stick to that. You don't have anything else to say. It'll be business. Be cordial. Don't go over there and send little nasty little email, you know, little little sly little emails. You know, don't, don't do that. Don't, you know, put your, put your little face on. Hey, you know, how you doing? What can I help you with? You know, let it be like that. Because when you act like that, people don't know how the hell to take you. Y'all are good at this. You y'all sore sign. So just be like that, and it may cause some frustration. It's going to cause some frustration. Um, and, I, and let me just say this: I'm not saying to kiss the person's ass, okay? I'm just saying be respectful, be cordial with this. Kill it with kindness was what this the strength card is saying. Kill it with kindness. This is going to, and that, that's going to just further throw things up because I feel like they're going to expect you to act, react differently to what has happened, and be different. Mm -hmm. Show them that you are above and beyond that bullshit. You don't have time for that. Don't give in to that frustration and that tizzy, that just, just unsettledness that I feel. It's just like, ugh. Like, you know, every time you, it's like chaos. You feel like you're walking to a place that's just chaotic. And it, it don't give in to it. You be, you be the strength. You be, you be the current of strength. Amongst all of this chaos, you have the strength part helping you. Now, um, as an advice, you have the full card, which is a good card. Um, when it comes to just overall energy and how this relates to everything in your reading, excuse me, oh my goodness, sorry, um, it's just telling you remain. Things, things right now for y'all, excuse me, I feel like it's just kind of up in the air. And, excuse me, it's kind of up in the air for y'all for December. But, just realize that it's okay for things to be up in the air right now. Remain positive. Remain positive for what's going on in your life. Because, again, you know, you are not the only person, the only sign. A lot of people are being transitioned right now. And, you know, um, the thing about the, the fool that I always love is that the fool is ready to jump off this cliff. and But the fool doesn't, don't have a parachute, don't have none but his little stick in his little bag. You see that? But he's ready. One foot is uh, just... On, damn they're off close you know he's on that ledge he's ready to jump off like oh, I'm just going to do this and I know I'm going to be okay 
And that's what this thing is telling you. Just do this. You are going to be okay. You're going to surf through this month. Even if this month feels like, you know what, it feels like you got a lot of loss here and frustration. Even though it's feeling like it's, you're being frustrated. The, the situation or the general energy is frustrating remain strong look forward to the future because you know again this is something that had to happen so um, I'm just I'm just uh, I'm just like wow with this situation I can't believe this happened to y'all I'm so sorry it's always hurt to have a betrayal um, of a friendship so I, I, I hate that for you guys but just know that you you are built for this. You're built for it tough, and things are going to work out for you better. And you're going to be moving into uh, January of 2016 with a better outlook. And less haters in your circle. You know you don't need no haters in your circle. We got enough. We we have enough of that. We have enough of people. And this person, whoever this person is, is going back to them. They just negative. They're just negative. They just, they, you know, if it's not you, who, it, it could be somebody else. It could be somebody else who could be employee of the month next month. They're going to be mad with them too, but still be talking to them at the, at the water cooler. You know, this, whoever this person is, they just, they just like that. But, you know, it's whatever. It's neither here nor there. You don't have time for the bullshit. You know, don't, don't, don't start judging people or not judging people, but looking at your other relationships too hard because of one bad apple in the bunch okay like this person right here that's a bad that's that that's that person who look how that card looks he looks so um just deviant don't don't let that person do that don't let that person change your perspective on your current relationship because at the end of the day I feel like you didn't know who this person was and you know you try to get people to build it out look at it as a lesson learned move on celebrate your victory celebrate this change in your life and continue to do better all right thank y'all for watching have a good night bye, -bye.